All right. Well, we know what a lot of people did during this total solar eclipse, but how about all those animals out there? Yeah, our very own Mark Salinger took a trip today to Zoo Knoxville to see how those animals were behaving. <laughs> So usually most days here at Zoo Knoxville, everybody's looking at all the animals around us. But today, everybody's looking up at the sky. That is really weird. That's creepy. The zoo has always been a place to learn, be inspired, and see things you wouldn't normally see. It looks like a big ball of cheese and somebody's eating it. But today, the sight that caught everyone's attention was far above the animals. I think all the animals will be confused thinking it was daylight just a few minutes ago and it's going to change their whole mindset of things. People lined up for more than an hour this morning to be one of the first inside the zoo, every kid making sure to wear their favorite shirt. It's pretty much yeah, the eclipse shirt <laughs> of what it would look like. For most here today, it was an opportunity they couldn't miss. We just I heard about the last time it happened, all of the animals were freaking out. We wanted to see what would happen this year. As day turned to dark, the crickets began chirping and the giraffes took notice, running away from their food and back to their barn. She stopped eating very suddenly and uh, ran for a couple spurts. So no telling if it was exactly caused by the fact that it got dark very suddenly, but um, it was certainly very interesting. Today at the zoo, everyone saw something special and something in every way. they may never see again. Oh, well, that's going to scare me in the morning. And the zoo will spend the next several days looking over all the observations that everyone got to see how the animals reacted to the eclipse. In Knoxville, Mark Salinger, WBIR 10 News.